Then come to me, okay? So this is a crystal, yeah? Yeah, this is a, cesium, a, a, a sodium iodide crystal detector for gamma radiation. Okay. And we're here uh, in Latvia, just behind the sand dunes, approximately 200 meters from the sea in Bulduri. And we have a... a Bulduri. Bulduri, which is... A, and we have a GPS uh, which gives us our, our exact location here, which I haven't switched on now, but we've got it. Uh, and you can see from the spectrum here that we've, we've uh, measured, this is a, a gamma spectrometer uh, made in East Germany. And from the me measurements that we've made here, you can see this peak. Now this peak here is cesium-137 from Chernobyl. The peak there is, uh, is, is a potassium-40 peak. And so it's possible to measure this peak uh, in relation to the known energy of the potassium-40. To do that, I had to, because I haven't got a calculator at the moment, in I, your new fancy mobile. In my new fancy mobile. I had to work this out by hand, you see. So I'm rather proud of the fact that when I did this, and I worked it out by hand, this is the potassium-40 peak at 1,460 keV. And this is the unknown peak, 290. Uh, that's the channel. And this is the channel of the potassium-40 peak. So you just take those, divide them out, and multiply by this. Well, there's my, there's my multiplication, there's my division, and the answer gives you 665.1 keV. And the cesium peak is at 662 keV, so we know that that's cesium-137. Uh -huh. Now isn't that astonishing, because I can tell you that the amount of cesium-137 here is really quite large. I mean, given that Chernobyl was 20 years ago, more, we've still got a significant amount of cesium-137 here, even though the half-life of cesium-137 is 30 years. So that means, no matter the fact that it all washed away and it's, and, and it's been dissipated by rainfall and all the rest of it taken up by the plants into the trees so forth we still have an awful lot of cesium 137 here in the soil now i'm going to have to cover these things up because of the rain but i was shocked that it was sort of it took only three minutes yeah. it took only three minutes That's right. and it started to show well, the beep well this spectrum here the, we, the spectrum here that we have at the moment is um uh, is one that has run Let's cover this for stuff. one hour, uh, no, for, for approximately half an hour. It's for, raining. Um, because I was assuming that we'd have to leave it for half an hour to get any peak at all. Yeah, but, but it actually, was three after, minutes. After, about, after a few minutes it, it, it came up and it was quite clear. So it seemed quite obvious, even without doing this calculation, that there was a significant increase. In and here is the most radioactive sea in the world, the Baltic Sea, where a lot of Chernobyl fell down. There it is, the horizon of it. And our measurement is done just on the other side of the dune. That's folks, that's real truth. That's real facts that we got here with Professor Chris Busby.